Right, happy with that? Good with that, yeah. Got the box of live on. Yeah. <laughs> it's not live, but it's like, uh, we're nearly there. Tomorrow, anyway. Um, obviously, this is a pre fight. Pre fight. Hopefully, we'll get one post fight as well. But, um, oh, yeah, okay. so. Robbie. Is. Uh, oh! Fuck off, yeah? Jesus Christ. Fell a shit. Uh, Rowan D, uh, from Ireland, down the south of Waterford. Um, currently moved over to London to be with Johnny Edwards and the team down in Guildford. Uh, Casey and Lenny behind you. Um, this will be the fifth, fourth fight? Fourth fight um, with the team since. They've, um, they've nearly been all at one one that went the distance, the rest have all been knockouts. What made you um, uh, come over to Guildford? Um, oh, it's nothing wrong with Guildford, I like it. <laughs> I, heard it's a, I heard it's a lovely part of the country, yeah. <laughs> um, I was coming over to obviously go into the bo British boxing scene. Um, I wanted to obviously make a name for myself, I was living uh, abroad, so I had to come back and uh, Dubai, find a team. Yeah. yeah, living out in Dubai. I was flying back to Ireland for fights, fights kept getting cancelled. Um, I had a training camp in London for a few weeks and in that time obviously I met Johnny and the team and the guys down in Guildford and we just we had a close knit, a good group of lads and uh, just enjoyed myself and then I had a fight cancelled then when I went back to Ireland and Johnny got me a show within a week so uh, the rest is history since. So you're pretty much full time here? Full time here now in London yeah so big change, big climate change, everyone keeps telling me to wait for the summer uh, <laughs> but I've been waiting. I've been waiting anyway. I'm still waiting. But Let's talk about that, like, um, how you got into boxing. Uh, how you oh, I was crazy young. Um, about eight or nine. I had an older brother that was doing kickboxing and boxing. No worries. Yeah. Uh, some older brother was uh, dabbling in both. Uh, but I kind of just more suited towards the boxing. Um, straight away, I started winning. Um, a few titles when you're eligible about 11 and um, I kind of just kept continuing get, getting to a lot of the All-Ireland Finals as well as winning uh, where I got about seven Irish titles um, and then represented Ireland at European world stage as well. Um, uh, so I've been to Russia maybe five times so I did two times ru ru I don't want to say anything bad because I've got a lot of Russian friends also but um, it was definitely an experience. I was young, I was 15, 16. I went out to Azerbaijan when I was maybe 14. Um, I won the World Golden, Glo uh, World Golden Gloves over in Washington when I was 17, 18. And I did the Silver Golden Gloves out in Chicago when I was about 15 or so. So um, definitely well travelled as a boxer. And when I kind of broke into then the senior kind of outfit as a boxer, um, it was just around the time of the 2012 Olympics, I was just about 17 and there was kind of like a selection for the teams and things like that. So uh, maybe I was a bit young and I was a bit impatient and uh, I kind of chose to move away rather than wait around until Rio. Uh, well, finally, yeah, finally then I, I turned pro over in Dubai, had two fights, um, about 22, 23, so maybe I had about three years out of the ring. I came back honestly, I went for the noise. Um, I came back, maybe, came back with three, five fights in total and in Ireland and I only fought in two of them. So I was coming back all the time for all these fights and the shows kept getting cancelled. Irish boxing was just on the cusp of it. Um, obviously now it's a much better scene in the last year or so but at the time it was just too slow and too impatient for me. Uh, nearly drove me away from the sport and then uh, luckily I just had a lot of support and a lot of people helping me out and that's why I've been brought now to the UK and now to look, look to make my mark over here at the minute. Can we go back a little bit, like, the transition, transition to, from amateurs to pro, how, how much of that did you find like, difference in you know, when you used to Crazy, crazy, I honestly, I thought I always thought your first pro fights and stuff like that were going to be really easy and stuff like that. My first pro fight was against a guy from a rival gym. So we had sparred and we knew each other and everything like that. I thought I'm going to go in and bash, bash this guy. 
Uh, it ended up being a four-round war. I knocked him out in the very last, but it could have been a draw, potentially a loss, my first fight. I didn't take it very serious. I wasn't really aware of this, the difference with the gloves and everything like that, and that's probably what shocked me. And if you look at the videos, I think are on YouTube, but I was very amateurish. I wasn't training with a pro team or coach or anything like that. So uh, there was a massive, massive difference. I did my second fight then. <laughs> um, we got on to, uh, yeah, we're talking about your transition, um, just going back to that. So you, you had that war um, in the I had a war in a four rounder for my first fight. My second fight then, I actually boxed in my second fight someone that took John Ryder eight rounds. Um, and this is as well at middleweight. So I boxed my first two fights at middleweight, yeah. Um, I wasn't training, as I said, full time or anything like that, but I was just taking fights on. But um, yeah, boxed a second fight against a guy that took John Ryder quite, quite a few rounds. Could not knock him out, he had a head like stone. Um, and I was up at the wrong weight and everything like that. And then I've, I've had a few fights since then, coming back to Ireland, fighting at super welterweight. And again, I looked at myself, and as an amateur, I boxed at light welter, and that's where I'm looking to go, um, getting down there. But obviously, I wanted to do it properly. I've, I've been out doing for three years. I think it'll take me maybe two years. So I'm going to get down. That's why I'm down at welterweight now, and I'm very comfortable at it. Um, I was only like a kilo two or something like that over the limit today, the day of the fight with breakfast this morning. So I really should be getting down, but I don't want to, I don't want to do it where I'm not going to enjoy it at the same time. Exactly, exactly. About time and waiting for the big fights to come. And then uh, hopefully I keep that power as well. The power seems to be working for me. I've got to ask, when you turn pro, um, the lead up to the fight, how, how are you feeling? Um, Emotion-wise, was it? I feel the exact same now as what it is. It's it's a fight. You know? I do it every day. I go into the I go into the gym and I go sparring and I fight the other person. And people ask me when I get nervous and stuff. Maybe I'll get nervous when the when it's big titles and the bigger stages. But I went to the O2 last week for the Eubank fight and stuff like that. And I took in the environment and took in everything. Um, nerves isn't a thing. It's about uh, just looking at. Making sure that I put in the right performance on the night and make sure I'm happy with it. I'll critique everything. I might knock the guy out in the first round, but uh, I still might be happy with how the fight went. And that's just the way I, that's just the way I am. I wanted to be perfected by the time I'm getting a title level. What was your um, your first fight? What was your ring music? Your first fight? Do you remember? Probably yeah. God, I can't can't remember that. Don't know for me now. What's it tonight? Uh, so it's supposed to be the Fuji's ready or not. Yeah. That's been my one for the last maybe four fights. But I'm not sure if it's been done yet today or not. So you don't know. But it's been that one that I walked out in front of my home crowd, my Watford show back in February last year. Mm -hmm. And it was like three and a half thousand fans from home that filled out the arena. And that was the tune, and I was uh, that, that, that's a moment for me, and it always brings back maybe so far, so excitement. Cool. All right, I'll come back to you. I'll just do the sound. I'll just do the sound. All right, all right open. Yeah, carry on. Open. Yeah. Can you just No, no, you're right. Yeah, it's okay. Um, what was I saying? Um, right, so going, going forward, obviously, you know, are you going to continue with some four or six rounds? Open. Yep. Yeah. By the end of the year, what, what do you hope to kind of uh, be at, or where, where do you want to see well, this? This originally was supposed to be an eight rounder, but the commission wasn't having it uh, today with the Please. opponent. But we've been trying for a number of different things. Um, obviously, I'm looking for a title uh, as soon as possible, sooner than later. I go for the Irish, the UI, Celtic. Uh, I was born in Manchester, I could go towards the English okay. route. Um, so might be able to go for it all. There might be a Middle East title even when <laughs> I was living there. So, um, yeah, look, I want to get, I, I still think I'm learning quite, like, a lot, you know what I mean? I've just, uh, the big one I've seen last week was Anthony Sims Jr. speak about his 17 fights in. Great boxer, but still sees that he's, uh, he's still learning in the sport. And uh, that's kind of the back route of the step I've took with it now as well. I wanted an eight-round fight, and I wanted to take it maybe eight rounds. But, um... Do you feel that you need some good rounds this year after? Um... I, say that is it I'm doing the rounds all the time and training and sparring and everything like that so it's not really a problem with that um, maybe when I, when it steps up yeah it would be handy to have yeah, obviously yeah, these kind of rounds in good yeah, yeah. 
what's your um, promotion? Are you signed to Mo? No, no, no. I've been to. I'm not signed by anyone at the moment. That's it. So, uh, is boxing full time? Yeah, I've completely moved over here full time. I'm really blessed with the sponsors I have. So, FLI Group yeah, is one of my sponsors. Um, Real Boxing Only in Dubai. It's a gym in Dubai. They're also one of my sponsors. Uh, UPAC Packaging. Uh, they help me a lot with all my flights and, and things like that. So, that's why it's easy for me to travel. Um, oh, sorry. Oh, the athlete. And team, like construction, yeah, they're another one of mine that have been just helping me and supporting me and giving me funding wherever I need it, really. So I've been really blessed with, uh, with yeah, the guys it's, helping me out. It's, it's difficult, isn't it? Uh, it's a tough game. It's a really it's, tough unless, game. Unless you've you know, got the whole GB kind of set up and signed to... Well, even my, I was going well with, the, with my amateur route, and then because I took that break off, people are kind of like, what? You know what I mean? Like, questioning. Like, what I've done as an amateur, and... Uh, I, I used to knock out a lot of people back in the Have amateurs. You anyone that's, uh, uh, so the guy I boxed the final of the world's uh, Golden Gloves, uh, Mexican guy, is 21 and 0 pro, Carlos Sanchez from uh, from Mexico, obviously. But he's signed, he's signed now, I think, with uh, Golden Boy. Um, who else was the well, so the five-time an amateur champion Dean Welch, he would have been one of my last amateur fights. Ross Hickey would have been so all of been like the very popular Irish boxers that didn't actually turn pro, um, but obviously had work with them. Um, Ukrainian that I'll box was two-time world champion as amateur. I don't know where he is as a pro. You know what I mean? So whenever I lost in the Europeans or anything like that, it was literally a point or count back and things like that. So um, I was always in the mix, and it was just that little bit of a disappointment. I never really. Uh, it's a strange one. I actually never really had a full-time coach as a younger as when I was younger, and now I'm seeing a real professional setup. It's like, wow, I need to be in this really. Um, a big team, isn't it? You know, you know, so many boxers. Yeah. So many boxers, so many fighters. It's just learning small little things, trying not to get hit as much. Um, I was very active, wasting so much energy. Now I'm just trying to relax all my energy. Um, as I said, power. I'm, like I don't mean to say it. I've been to a number of Mo's shows now. Even when I was moving, coming over and thinking, was I going to move to London? I went to two or three of Mo's shows, and uh, I watched it, and I just goes, no one knocks anyone out. Like knocked people out. Um, I'm, I'm after floor now, four or five guys, like I mean KO, spacked, uh, broke some guys' jaws, broke some noses in the gym and it's been quite regular. I didn't really believe in that power. And I did, if I look at it, if you go through my amateur records and stuff, you can find them on Google and stuff, you'll see like contests, stop, stop, stop. Um, so there's power that's definitely there and hopefully that is going to carry me to a certain level and get to a certain point. That's that's really the, the hope with it. Uh, what sparring? Have you sparred anyone? That's... So Mikey McKinson was fighting tonight. Um, so I've been sparring him quite a bit. Um, so I wish him best of luck. He's probably on in the next 45 minutes or so. Um, been sparring him. I've been with Luther Clay um, next week as well. A little bit of a grudge match going on. Um, I've been doing Byfield before he did Cheeseman. I believe, yeah, I think so. Yeah, but this is maybe a few weeks ago as well. Um, God, I'm so bad at names. <laughs> and then after that, there's, there's been a few more ever since. But it's been fun. It's been a good, it's been a good experience so far. It's good to, uh, yeah, it's good to like, you and everybody uh, follow. Yeah. Um, do you want to shout out your social media quickly so people can follow you? Rohan underscore day on uh, Instagram and then Rohan day on Facebook. You'll find me. I'm a, I'm a pet fan page. Cool. Cheers, Brilliant, mate. Yeah. Nice one. Cheers. Good luck. Yeah, one now.